Hey guys, Rowdy here. Uh, just out here enjoying this nice weather. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me how things have been going, you know, dealing with the injury and everything. I'm doing a lot better now. I feel like for the most part I can get around pretty normally. But the last few weeks, it's been pretty limiting. Yeah, injuries happen, but you know, life does not stop. I was supposed to be taking it easy, but I ended up having to run a lot of errands out of the house. This was especially problematic because at the time I could not drive or boost. I did find out that I can use the little motorized carts. You seem to be doing all right. Yeah, well, I'm dying on the inside. <laughs> the reason why I was out at Lowe's is because my toilet broke down and I had to go grab all the things that I needed to repair it. Because I was injured, it was just tough, you know, finding comfortable positions to, to work and then also dealing with all the leaks, you know, trying not to get my cast wet. It, it was a whole big thing, but I got it done and as far as I know, it's not leaking anymore. Meanwhile, I also realized that my license had been expired. So I needed to go to the DMV uh, kind of urgently and uh, get that renewed. Uh, funny story there, I was not tall enough to get my picture taken. I had to borrow the lady's chair to stand in in order to be high enough to get my picture taken. And uh, you can actually see it in the license. I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, while we were there, uh, we were going to get a handicap placard for my girlfriend's car since she's been driving me around everywhere. We haven't even used it because of my injury. Even the handicap parking spots are a little too far to walk. So she's been kindly dropping me off in the front of the store and then going and parking. Another issue uh, we've been dealing with uh, in the last couple of weeks, I know everybody loves Sam the Cat. I love Sam the Cat. But Sam the Cat uh, came with a few passengers. So we've been dealing with uh, fleas. We read online about how to you know, deal with fleas and everything. everybody basically stressed vacuum. You need to vacuum. I had a vacuum, but it was super duper old. It, it was here when I moved in, so I don't know how old it was, but it just wasn't getting the job done. So we decided to go buy a new vacuum, uh, which meant I had to get out of the house again. But this trip wasn't so bad. I, I didn't have to stress to push the button on the cart. I was able to just kind of sit and relax the whole time, so it was pretty awesome. And then I got to go home with this sexy beast. But as I mentioned before, the main things I felt were holding me back uh, during this recovery time was not being able to drive and not being able to use my booster board. About a week ago, I decided to see if I could drive again. All right, so I have not driven since before my little in injury about three weeks ago, um, but I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm gonna try to drive today and see how that works out. So let's, uh, let's go. Car still works, that's good. Been sitting here for three weeks. All right. Yeah, honestly, uh, no pain whatsoever. I feel quite comfortable right now. So now I'm gonna drive around the block and see how that goes. I have my sports wheelchair in the back because right before the accident, I uh, lugged it back there because the next day I was gonna play tennis. But obviously that didn't happen. The reason why driving was such an issue for me is the way I sit. You know, I actually put a lot of weight on my nubs. Sometimes I sit while I drive, but it's more comfortable to, to do like this. I, I feel like I can't drive more than like maybe 30 minutes though. I feel like I would get uncomfortable after that. But I think at this point I can at least drive to work and back and maybe go to the store or something like that. I think it went pretty well. I decided to drive back to the horrific scene of the accident to see if I could boost a board again. It seemed like a fitting place. So three weeks later, back to the horrific scene of the accident. This is where it uh, happened. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm able to put a little bit of weight on my nub, but I'm gonna go really, really slow and just kind of try to cruise on it. It's nice being able to utilize old Boosie again. I was getting tired of walking everywhere. <laughs> I think that went pretty well too. 
Since being able to uh, drive and use my booster board again, I've been feeling a lot less limited. I even took my friend up on an invite to go bowling the other day. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Guy with no legs, he's probably terrible at bowling. And you are correct. My friend filmed about 10 of my bowls and they more or less went something like this. The way I do this, it takes me a minute to get my accuracy honed in. Cause I don't bowl very often. Okay, here we go. First bowl. Spare time. Oh. 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 I filmed Kimbo one time, and then this is what happened. Suffice to say, I did not win that particular bowling match. The week capped off with a doctor visit. Here at the doctor's office, uh, just got my cast taken off. Um, that looks all right. Um, getting a few x-rays and the uh, doctor's gonna tell me what, uh, what he thinks. In your case, again, we're trying to figure out the best way to be functional and yet not have pain or, or anything. Most fractures take eight weeks to fully unite. Mm -hmm. You're at like six, four. Right, four. Yeah, so, I mean, I think at this point what I would do normally in, in any other type of fracture would be some sort of removable cast or brace or something. Mm -hmm. Basically turn this into a clamshell, cut it, cut it in, in completely in half like this, and then pad the edges and make it make you wrap it on. But I, I, don't, I don't really think I would force anything on you. Just got my uh, cast slightly modified and rewrapped here. And I gotta say, it feels way more secure than it did before. I'm liking it. According to the doc, my nub is healing really well, and it should only be another three or four weeks before I'm fully healed, and I just gotta take it easy until then. But anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I'll catch you guys next time. Subscribe, tell everybody.